Well, we're seeing huge changes uh, in, in recent years, things like artificial intelligence, uh, big data, the Internet of Things, uh, and these are all being wrapped up in the uh, 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 label of uh, Industry 4.0 or, or Manufacturing 4.0, so that uh, uh, these are resulting in lots of changes in the uh, workforce. We're seeing shifts toward more what we call the gig economy, uh, people working basically on their own, but for large organizations like Uber, for example, uh, we're seeing a, a big impact on glo uh, globalization. Uh, work can be shifted uh, almost anywhere across the globe because of the, the ease of, com of uh, communications. Uh, so this is going to have a, a, a very big uh, impact on what, uh, what's the division of labor between uh, people and, and robots and machines, but also it's going to be uh, uh, a reallocating work globally. Well, I think for economic growth and development, they're certainly positive. Uh, all these uh, developments are going to tend to increase uh, efficiency, uh, 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 lower costs, uh, increase competition, make, uh, make it easier for firms to, entry, to, to enter into various fields. Uh, the big question, though, is uh, what is it going to do for uh, work? Uh, what, what is it going to do for uh, workers? Uh, and, and, and those are some of the policy issues that, that we'd uh, like to examine. Well, I, I suppose first most generally is the impact on employment. Uh, is, is there going to be a significant uh, uh, negative impact on employment from this shift to uh, 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 automation? And even if there isn't a shift in employment per se, is there going to be an impact on the distribution of income? That is, are we going to see uh, a greater split between those who have uh, high tech skills, high incomes, and those who uh, don't have those skills? Uh, so, so for example, is the, the sort of white collar worker going to be kind of hollowed out by the, by the shift to increased automation? Uh, other issues are things like uh, the, what are the implications for the social safety net? Uh, if, if people are working more on their own, how, how can we make sure that they continue to receive social benefits, uh, health insurance, uh, that kind of thing? Uh, and another big issue is what's the implication for education? Uh, what kind of education do people need to equip for themselves for this very sort of fast-changing environment? And so that uh, I think we need to look more at things like lifelong learning. How can people prepare themselves for uh, shifts in, in their careers as a result of technological changes? Well, the basic role of the T20, the, the Think 20, is to provide uh, um, evidence-based policy recommendations for the G20 countries. And this can be uh, both at, at, at a fairly practical level and, and also what we call these sorts of vision uh, 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 statements. But uh, the, the big advantage of the T20 is we can really tap into uh, global resources of, of people who are, who are thinking about these issues and, and you know, you know, find the, uh, the, uh, the top, top experts in these fields. So what we'd like to do is sort of uh, uh, harvest the latest thinking in these areas and uh, develop uh, what we think are, are policy implications and policy recommendations out of those that we can then communicate to the G20.